hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is a ts tech talks video guys on today's video i'm going to show you how to live stream on your facebook page making use of omelet arcade now let me show you guys um the facebook page that we'll be live streaming on so let me open the facebook application click on this menu icon scroll down click on pages and then you notice where it says game part that is the facebook page that i'm going to be live streaming on and when you scroll down there is currently no video live streaming right now apart from old videos that i have uploaded so far you can see the last one of this is the last time i went live which is 18th january so today's date is actually 25th january so i'm going to be live streaming on this particular page i'm going to show you guys just how to do that so i'm going to close that particular application so that it will not conflict what i'm trying to review so let me go ahead and open the application so the application is called omelette arcade if you do not have that go ahead and download the application that is the name so i'm clicking on that and let me wait for it to load up all right it has loaded up this video is supposed to be playing automatically but i turned on do not disturb and i made a video on how to turn off do not disturb if you do not like it so to live stream you notice this plus icon right there on the bottom section next to live click on that application and then you notice where it says go live go ahead and click on the go live option and it's going to display you so many games that is already existing on your game on your application actually so many application that is already existing on your mobile phone that is all i have here so i'm going to click on this particular one that says subway soft is actually a game call of duty is a game tiktok is not a game is an application life score is also an application this is a game and this is an application uh, candy crush is a game this is a game this is pop g new state is a game pac-man is a game so i'm going to go ahead and click on the subway soft and then wait for it to load so subway soft have loaded up and you notice it displays an option for us to log in into the omelette application so since you are making use of facebook um you can leave this on auto if you want it to be enabled so that it will be live streaming to your omelette account but i'm going to disable this option so i'm going to talk tap on facebook for it to log into my facebook or i already have facebook login into this device so it's going to automatically log it in if you do not have facebook login into the device for the first time it's going to give you a login screen so you need to enter your email and password all right so on default is set to live stream on your main facebook profile which is currently what is displaying my world so if you want to live stream on your facebook page click on that my world to give a drop down of different pages that is existing on your page so i'm going to go ahead and select the facebook gaming so i'm going to type um, the game part i mean i'm going to tap game part and you notice game part is currently active right there so to go live all you need to do next is to click on next but if you have a custom um, live streaming uh, application enabled on your phone, you can go ahead and toggle this on to um, activate. Or if not, click on Nest. But for some reason, my phone is heating up, I think um, because of the omelet packet and the application running and also some notification on my device. So the first thing you need to do is to give a title of your video. So um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and navigate back and it still opens just like it did before and under this area the first thing you need to do is put in the um, title of your video and i'm going to call this um, um test test subway soft and then on the description area go ahead and put in anything you want on the description section and then the next area i want to pay attention on is actually on the streaming settings now you notice that um, the streaming settings has camera um, microphone and even more options so i have to click on this area to select this particular option and you notice where it says audio source i'm going to go ahead and click on the audio source So quick explanation guys, under, under this audio source, um, it actually make sure these two are selected. It means your microphone and your internal audio, it actually supports the two of them. 
this is the only application that supports both microphone and internal audio. Um, if you are trying to record video, these um, video editors or um, video recorders do not have this particular option. But for this, for some reason, I'm going to turn off um, the um, the microphone. The reason why I'm turning off the microphone is because I'm recording a video. So if I'm recording a video, I can't be recording a video and be using the same sound at the same time. So I only want internal audio. So the internal audio is going to be the audio coming in from the game. So I only disable that particular option for the microphone and then I'm going to close this. Alright, now um, after I've closed that, that setting has been activated. And then another thing you guys have to pay attention to is the video quality. If you are using a very high internet, you can go ahead and click on this option and then choose either the highest one which is 1080 pixel which is going to be very fast and very clear but i'm going to leave this on automatic because you have to render the image or the, um, the audio depending on my audio on my um, network speed or network strength so i'm going to close that because we are done with that one so if you are ready to start live streaming go ahead and click on next but if for some reason you also want to use an overlay, you can go ahead and choose this overlay and add overlay. But I do not advise you guys to add overlay. But since this is a mobile device recording, I'm going to choose overlay. So um, it's going to give you an option to customize overlay. And on default, this is what is selected. And I can use different one that is being showing. But I'm um, going to just click on save to use the default one that was selected for me. And you're going to notice how it displays once I start recording. So guys, um, let me go ahead and scroll down even more. Now, these options right here are for Omelette Plus. That is if you purchase a premium option for Omelette. So when you have this option selected, you can only enable this option when you have purchased a premium Omelette application or account. So this is all I need to set. Now I'm going to click on start to start live streaming. And it says tip um, chatting with viewers will help you um, get more fans. So I'm just going to say got it and then say got it. I do not want to actually chat with my fans because it's also going to make this um, streaming hang. So whenever I receive a chat, I would rather prefer to just respond to that chat by just saying hi or so. So um, I'm going to click on start to start recording streaming and the right live streaming has started recording right now. Now you notice it says I can share this on the community I belong to on Facebook. You notice that actually a Facebook group that I joined. So right now we are currently live and you notice right there it just indicated that I'm live. So people on Omelette are supposed to be seeing that I'm live. People on Omelette are supposed to be seeing that I'm currently live. Um, this is it. No, that is not it. Let me click on my profile and then right here to view my profile area. Um, on the post section, okay, it's actually not displaying right here, but you notice it's saying online because I'm online, but it's actually not live streaming on this area. That is because I disabled it previously when I was making those settings. If not, you are going to see the video displaying right here. So, um, Right now, I'm going to go over to Facebook to show you guys that the live streaming is working. So I'm going to click. No, you know what? I'm going to remain in the game. I'm going to remain in the game and I'm going to show you guys the live streaming from the other device. So I'm going to go over to the other device right now and then um, I'm trying to access the other device and I'm going to try to open Facebook right now. All right. Um, scroll 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 and the network it's a bit slow i hope it do not affect me too much all right facebook and then i'm going to click on pages and then game part um wait for it and you notice right there you notice just okay let me go back um it's supposed to it was showing just now it was showing live just now around here but for some reason it went away but actually this is the live stream right there so i can click on it to open and this is it so um it actually not showing because um i think that was the period i went away 
when I was viewing something else. But you can notice the name right there on, that, on the top area where it says Trust Path. That is actually the name I have as my distinct omelette. And when I give this a like and a comment, it's going to be displaying on my omelette. Um, let me just type something really cool. Something very simple. Um, it it just displayed on the top area of my omelette. You notice that on the top area. And also, if you click on the game right there, if you click on the game, you're supposed to see a chat section around here. I think, right? No, not here. okay. I think I actually disabled that stuff. So, um, okay, there, there you go. But the stuff is actually very faint, so you might not see it properly. Let me go ahead and add another message. Um, so we all right, I just added another message. Okay. So I just added evil three message, right? So um, you can notice the message right there displaying on the area. So if you are live streaming, you'll be getting the message display while you are playing your game. And then um, and then it's, it's just going to display that way. Um, let me just double click and then play the game while I send a message. All right. Um, sending message on this device so if i'm playing the game and i receive a message and the message got delivered you are going to notice it display on the top area so when you click on it or you can easily reply to it and say something um just to respond to the message all right so you notice i just replied the message with trust part now you notice the difference between these two right tops the other one is actually saying game part and the other one is actually saying trust part the reason why it's displaying trust part is because that is the profile account of my omelet occurred let me go ahead and close that out um just click on back out to close this application but omelet is going to remain open until you end the live stream so i'm going to click on omelet to show you guys on the profile area you notice that area on the top area where it says trust part that is the reason why it's displaying trust part on this particular account so guys this is all i want to show you on how to live stream on omelette occurred i hope this video is helpful if it is smart like subscribe to the channel for even more video i'm going to see you guys on my next video please stay safe and peace